Now we're going to learn a little bit about sound in Scratch. There are lots of different kinds of sounds. They're all found under the sound section. You can see we have, um, we have here, these are usually sound effects. Um, here we have drum sounds here. We have notes and we can change the instrument that we're using. We can also play with the volume and the tempo. If you want to create new sounds or see what sounds are available to you, just like you can find costumes under the costume tab, you can find sounds under the sound tab. So sounds can be um, chosen from the library. You can record a new sound, so if you're a good singer or if you want to have your uh, sprites actually talk um, out loud, you can record their speech. Um, or you can upload a sound like a song or something like that from a file. We're going to look at specifically just the sounds that are included in Scratch. So for right now, I'm going to choose some different sound effects. So let's take some animal sound effects. We have bird. We'll add that as an option. And this is all actually, let's apply this to our penguin. Um, we have bubbles and goose in here. Let's add a couple more. Let's take um, the bird sound and let's add one more, maybe the owl sound. Okay, I know penguins don't make owl sounds. So to make sounds, let's just make some sound effects for our penguin. Get rid of this old stuff here. So I've got the owl sound selected here. So when I click the flag, it makes an owl sound. Now we could also um, play a couple of different sounds in order. We could play the owl sound and the goose sound and maybe the bird sound. Let's see what that sounds like. Those actually almost happened all at once. So if you remember when we had that problem with the movement, we added in some weights. So if we do that, we should now be able to hear our sounds a little more separately. There we go. So now they're all in order. So that's a fun way to make your characters um, make different sounds. So now I'm going to go over to the, I'm going to take this off so that these don't uh, play when we're working with our other characters here. I'm going to start with the drum. And if you'll notice that there is here a play drum option. And there are um, different kinds of drums under here. So there's a snare drum, a bass drum, and all these different things. Um, some of them you can't hear very well. I'm going to stick with things that you can hear pretty well. And if I add the when flag is clicked, so that's the snare drum. Let's try a slightly, or the hi-hat, sorry, that's a cymbal. Let's try a different kind of drum. Let's try a standard snare drum. So there we go. And if you want to have your drum play a bunch of different beats, and there's actually some rests in here, so you could use that instead of your weights. So if we hit the um, flag button, that sounds like a nice drum beat. Now, that only plays once, so if you wanted to really have a drum beat in the background of, say, a song or something like that, then you'd probably want to repeat that. Well, there's a nice little block called repeat, and you put it around your different blocks that you want to repeat. I'm going to do this five times. And if we hit the flag, it should play the beat five times. And it's going to be a little weird. Let's add, um, before we do this, let's add a rest at the end. Because if you repeat, what happens is this plays and then it goes back up and plays this one. And if you don't have a rest in there, it won't sound right. So let's try this. So there you go. So you could have that actually play forever while a song is playing. Sounds a little boring at the moment, but that's okay. We're going to add to it. Let's um, change this to like a wood block. 
just for fun. And the other thing you can do is change the number of beats. So we could do 0.5 here, which is a little bit longer. And when we do that, we get this effect. Nice steady beat there. That's about a half note beat. So if you know a lot about music, um, if you have a 4-4 four, four beat, um, you can figure out how to beat on the fourth note, um, those kinds of things. So, all right, so we have our drum beating. That's very nice. And now we want to make our penguin actually sing a song or play a song. Um, we'll pretend she's holding an instrument of some kind. So when the flag is clicked, we're going to actually choose an instrument for our penguin to play. And you can see there are lots of different options. It defaults to the piano. Let's try, well, let's see what choir sounds like. We're going to set our instrument to, I'm going to try the choir. And then we need to actually play some notes. So I'm going to play middle C a couple of times. And then maybe a G a couple of times. And let's see what this sounds like. Hmm, interesting. Let's try a different instrument, maybe the guitar. Okay. Okay, so we have our penguin playing some notes. Now let's put our drum beat back together. Um, let's see what that sounds like. We're going to click the flag again. And you notice that the beat is a little off for our drum. So let's change our beat a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll beat and rest the same amount of time. That usually makes sense. Let's see how this sounds now. And now that sounds actually pretty good. You can't hear it too much because it's beating on the notes, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so let's um, add a little bit to our song. And I have over here in my other tab, actually, the notes for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So I've already got the C, C, G, G. Let's add our A, A, and G. So we're going to play this note, A, and the nice thing about this song is that the, um, oh actually we want this A, the higher A, so have to be careful about that. Um, and then we go back down to G, so let's see what that sounds like. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Okay, we still have our drum beat, so let's add a few more notes. And this should actually last for a little bit longer. If you'll recall that that um, last note gets held a little bit, if those of you are in music. So then we get F, F, E, E, D, D, and C. So we'll do that. So we'll add our E, E, F, F to our song here. We're going to use these notes up here. It's above middle C, as you'll maybe remember. And we're going to hold this for a little bit longer. Okay, let's try it out, see if it sounds good. Nice! And our beat actually goes pretty well. It's repeating a little too long, but of course if we played the whole song that would be pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to show you one more thing about working with um, sound. So one kind of fun thing that you could do is you can actually have your creatures make little yips and yaps when they get poked. Um, so I'm going to add some sound effects here. Let's see what we got. We have some 
little electronic things. Let's try some whoops and zoops and things. We'll add that. And we'll add this. This may not go so well with our butterfly. So for the most part, we've been using under events the when the flag is clicked. However, one fun thing that you can use is when this sprite is clicked. So you could add when this sprite is clicked, play zoop. So let's click our sprite and see what happens. Cool. And you could do that if it's music or whatever. Um, if we go back to events, we could also have things like um, when certain keys are pressed. So for example, when the space bar is pressed, it's going to make a whoop sound. So I'm going to hit the space bar. Ooh, my whoop sound isn't playing. So there we go. That's a long sound. There we go, it worked. So you can have fun um, having different sounds come out of your sprites based on different things. And don't forget, you can have sounds that happen as a result of a broadcast in addition, which we learned last week. So that's about it for sounds.